Aloha folks and welcome aboard yet again to the Ocean Spirit. We're really excited to have you guys on board today to introduce you guys to the wild and wacky world of whales out here in our Maui Nui water basin. Now my name is Annalise and I'm one of the naturalists here at Pacific Whale Foundation. One of the cool things about coming out on one of our boats is that we always have a college degree naturalist telling you guys some really cool facts about these animals we're going to be watching. Right now, over my shoulder, we actually have a couple of humpback whales. So uh, if you guys want to take a second and maybe get your first sighting of them, I'll be back on in just a second to share some more cool facts with you guys. So let's talk a second about just directions on a vessel for those of you that may not be as familiar with some of the boat terminology. The front of the boat, no matter what direction it's turned, is always 12 o'clock. The back of the boat is always 6 o'clock. Our starboard, or right-hand side, is 3 o'clock and the port side or left hand side will be nine o'clock position. So that'll help you to keep up with us as we're telling you where the whales are located. We're watching a mother and calf with their escort over here at our 11 o'clock position. So this would be a mom, a calf, and a male that's interested in mating with mom. Now this calf is showing us some really interesting behaviors that I wanna talk a little bit about. This calf appeared to have just been rolling around at the surface of the water. And we got a little taste of what's called its pectoral flippers, or those flippers on either side of its body that kind of look like arms. What's kind of neat about those flippers is inside, just like a human arm, they actually have a whole series of bones. And they actually have the exact same bones that we do in our arms, minus one. They just don't have a thumb. We're not 100% sure exactly what this baby's intention was. It's very likely that it's just learning how to use its new tail and flippers, and it's getting a chance to roll and slip and slide around mom's back. We want to talk a little bit about our navigation equipment and how we navigate around whales, because there's a lot of questions and a lot of misconceptions out here. You're in the North Pacific Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary, an important breeding and mating area of our North Pacific stock of humpback whales. But boat traffic can be a detriment to this particular population of animals. So what we want to make sure that you guys are understanding are a few things about how we operate our vessels and how we encourage people around the world to operate yours using the science that we have collected. So a couple of things. Sails are obviously an important part and a lot of people look to this and say you can't get more environmentally friendly than sailing. That is true in some aspects. However, dropping your sail within 100 yards of an animal is important because it's hard to change course, it's hard to change your speed when you're under sail. Uh, so we encourage anyone operating a sail vessel that when you see a tail, drop your sail. It's an important reminder for you that are sailors out there. So another thing that we do is we always are observing how fast that we're going. Now we have some sophisticated equipment on board our vessels that tell us how fast we're moving and we use range finders to identify how far away the whales actually are from where we are located currently. Um, so our scientists, just a few years ago, our vessels were restricted to 15 knots during the peak seasons, January, February, and March of our whale seasons. Our scientists, however, running transects here in Maui County, determined that these near misses, the time in which you have to respond, actually dropped off precipitously around that 12 and a half knot level as opposed to 15. So what we've done over the last two seasons here in Hawaii is we've used our science to reduce our speed limits throughout our peak seasons here in Hawaii. So you won't see any Pacwaliko Adventure vessels traveling any faster than 12 and a half knots anywhere from January through March. When we are in the presence of a humpback whale within 400 yards, we drop that speed to six knots or less and then of course, our vessels are completely stopped outside of 100 yards from a humpback whale. Very important aspects. If you don't have this sophisticated equipment, you can download apps on your phone that'll tell you how fast you're going and know that science is telling you that 12 and a half knots currently is our best understanding of when we feel like is a safe speed when you don't know when whales or where whales are at. If you know that a whale is within 400 yards of your vessel, we encourage you to travel less than six knots. And always above six knots, post an observer on board your vessel as these whales can pop up anywhere. That's it for now. Join us again next time to learn even more about the wild and wonderful world of our humpback whales.